Hello students, Miss Watson here, and today we're going to take a look at the cell theory. Now I chose this picture here just because it shows two very different types of cells. So what should you be able to do today? You should be able to describe the cell theory. You should be able to understand the order of the levels of organization and you should be able to compare and contrast prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. So first of all, let's take a look at the cell theory. The cell is the basic unit of life. What that means is if you look inside of a cell and you see the different parts, so the different organelles, if you take out an organelle, that thing is not going to be living on its own. So you can't divide the cell up into smaller pieces and still have something that's considered living. All things are composed of one or more living cells. Now, some things are what we call unicellular and they're able to survive just as a single cell, like many bacteria. Uh, other things are called multicellular, like people, where we're made up of very, very many different cells. And then finally, all cells come from pre-existing cells. So every cell that we have in our body came from one original cell, and then that cell split into two, each of those cells split into two, and so on, through the cell cycle to make all of the cells in our body. So let's look at the levels of organization now. So the most complex level of organization is the organism. So for example, a person. The next level is organ system, so that's something that's inside the person, and in this case we're looking at the circulatory system. You can see the heart and all the blood vessels going towards the lungs and the head. So this is a little bit less complex. Then we have organ, so in this case the heart, which is a little bit less complex. Then tissue, so this is uh, a type of muscular tissue called cardiac cardiac tissue which is inside of the heart and this is a little bit less complex than the heart itself. Then we have cells, so these are cardiac cells which are part of the tissue. And then we have organelles which we find inside of the cells and these are even less complex. Now remember what I said, if you pulled out an organelle on its own it would not be considered a living thing. So the cell itself is the basic unit of life. Now inside the organelles we would have molecules. Now this goes a little bit below the level of organization. This is just for your information. So the organelles are made up of molecules and the molecules themselves are made up of atoms. So let's take a look at the different types of cells. There are two types, prokaryotic cells like the one on the left and eukaryotic cells like the one on the right. Now as you can see from the picture, they are very different types of cells. Prokaryotic cells are much simpler, they're much more basic. Um, they don't have a proper nucleus that's uh, enclosed with a nuclear membrane. They also have fewer organelles. So let's take a look at some of the different comparisons. So prokaryotes or prokaryotic cells are much simpler compared to eukaryotes. They are single cellular organisms, whereas eukaryotes can be single cellular or multicellular organisms. There is no nucleus in a prokaryotic cell. There are very few different types of organelles in a prokaryotic cell. And then just an example, a prokaryotic cell will be like a bacteria. A eukaryotic cell will be, for example, like an animal cell. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to describe the cell theory. You should be able to understand the order of the levels of organization and compare and contrast prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. If you can do all these things, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.